All right, so let's go look at time coins. Someone requested that yesterday after my live stream. So let's go look at that, and we will use the USDT chart on KuCoin. So right now here on the daily chart for uh, time, let's see what's going on. I'm just going to clear everything, so remove drawings, uh, so we can have a clear picture. Right now on the daily chart, it kind of looks like we are forming a falling wedge, a huge falling wedge at that. Uh, but you could kind of say it kind of happened like that. Kind of like that, and you should have gone move up. You never did. So really, you could still technically say you're in a falling wedge, uh, but overall, I think, you know, you could still say that's a falling wedge. If you do want to say that's a falling wedge, the measure move for time coin would be about, very rough estimate, about $300, $335. Um, but if you don't want to say that's a falling wedge, I can understand that. But that does look like a falling wedge to be on the daily chart. Uh, we can move, move that just like that. The measure move would be about $325. If you want to be conservative, uh, $300 would be the measure move for the uh, daily chart. So we'll see if that happens. Um, daily chart on the RSI is getting oversold and getting the bounce. I like to see that. The four-hour chart is already over, is overbought, and the one-hour chart is overbought as well coming down. So the four-hour and one-hour chart do not look good to me. Uh, but... You had a wick close to the top of the channel, so there's a good chance you come back down to the bottom of the channel, which is all the way around fifty dollars, forty-eight dollars. Uh, a few a few days ago, you were all the way down at fifty-one. So, uh, if, you know that fifty-dollar level is probably holding as support and acting as support, but that is the bottom of the channel. So, if you can, I would say short term, fifty dollars is likely, and then um, probably within later this month, you if you are going to get the breakout, you would get the breakout. Another thing, when I zoom out here on the four-hour chart, you have a huge uh, node down here at $30. So there's even a chance to come all the way down to $30. Uh, before you have the huge breakout, you are all the, as low as $15. So, you know, $30 bucks is very much on the table. If I go to the daily chart um, and zoom in a little bit, let's see where the nodes are. Yes, you have a huge one at $30. I would not be surprised at all if you come down to $30. Uh, you had a decent one up here at $57. Uh, but thirty, yeah, thirty dollars is very much on the table. Uh, that would probably mean that uh, if you were, yeah, thirty. If but pretty much if thirty dollars does happen again, that means the falling wedge is off the table because you can't fall that low and still be bullish. I would say the lowest you can go and still say that you're in a falling wedge would be forty dollars. So if you lose forty, the falling wedge is invalid. At least if you get a daily candle close below forty. Um, but if you do get the rally, uh, rally would take you 300. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Short term, the four hour chart does look like you at least want to go down to 50 for support. Um, but like I said, if you lose 40, you're probably going to come down to 30. And like I said, if you lose 40, you're definitely not bullish anymore on time. So short term time does not look bullish, but the daily chart does have some hopes of a falling wedge, which break to the upside 70% of the time. So those are your odds right now. Uh, a 70% chance on the daily chart to be, re be bullish here in a few days. With that being said, guys, that's all I got. And I'll see you guys in the next video.